Yeah, 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 I'm an idiot, I know. <laughs> Dude, you literally just threw a grenade onto yourself. What were you thinking there? This is probably going to, like, make me tear my hair out, if I'm honest. Like, I think I just screwed myself here. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Willie B. Coyote and welcome back to Max Payne. In the last video, we cornered Vinny Gogni and now we're chasing him down. Let's get into it, shall we? Um, obviously, like, as always, you know, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You know, it helps me grow, hopefully get paid as well. Right now, though, we're chasing, uh... Yeah, he was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Got to be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Yep. Got to make uh, get after Vinny Gogniti. He's uh, on the run, and conveniently, he's leaving a trail of blood for us to follow. He definitely didn't go out that way. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Check door. Nothing there. Definitely not that way. So, uh, update, I'm actually gonna be dressing up as Max Payne for Halloween this year. So that's say? cool. Get him, Max! Get him! Get him! Oh, hey, he just jumped onto the subway! Got needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Right, so, um... I assume that means we're gonna have to... Yep! Let's this go! Was the second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Mm. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gogniti made his move. Edel doesn't look like he's in good shape, though. That's, uh... There he goes. Right behind you, Gogniti! Come on. Here we go, here we go. Jump! Boom! Let's get after him. Wait, what's happening? Wait, yeah, well, that was a little anticlimactic, but oh! Okay. So, coming down here, across here, and guys, they're incoming! Ow, come on! Three days later. This is probably going to be a very regular thing here, obviously, on this playthrough. Where I just completely eat it because of some guy with a shotgun! Dang it. Many months later. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to go for the guy with the shotgun first. And I got him. That's nice. Uh, use the uh, shotgun for a little bit. I think. Do we have any? Uh, I I really need some painkillers right now. Okay. Well, I'm being shot at. I where from? There we go. Yeah. And Max Payne staying stationary is pretty much a death sentence unless you're in bullet time, so, you know. Yeah, that's fun. Through this door, I think. Let's uh, check to make sure there's, uh, not that way. Hey, Vinny! Vinny Gagnini! It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No problem. Right. Oh, there it is. 
I think it glitched out there on me. Two thousand years later. So yeah, anyways, uh, just quick saved real quick, so uh, I don't completely bite the farm again right out of the gate. Let's take these guys. That's those guys taken care of. Quick save. Down this way. This is a game from 2001, so there are bound to be glitches when you run it on modern hardware. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! It's Payne! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No problem. Yeah, I got the same glitch again. One eternity later. This is probably going to, like, make me tear my hair out, if I'm honest. Like, um, like, if I end up having to log out and re-record this video because, uh, because of a one glitch, like... In the business, we call this foreshadowing. It's Payne! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it! No problem. What the heck? <sighs> well, shit. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I just uh, had to uh, exit out of the game and stop recording for a second in order to uh, be able to get the game to work. Let's uh, drink those painkillers really quick. Quick save again, and uh, continue on our merry way. Oh, here we go. Dual wielding and bullet time is so much fun, honestly. Especially when you got finally got the Ingram Mac 10 submachine guns. Okay, here we go. You're not gonna get away, God Katie. You hear me? You're limping, you're bleeding out, and I'm chasing you down. Come on, like, you you know, you knew this was gonna happen. Got ammo off that guy. Hey, there we go. Check back in here for ammo. Let's, uh, switch to our shotgun for a minute here. Let's, uh, not going that way. Like, I swear, if I, if I end up having to, like, go, like, in circles for two and a half hours trying to find where I need to go next, or, and it was just down here. Yeah, 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 I'm an idiot, I know. <laughs> your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. If I'm right... There we go. Down comes the elevator. And up goes the elevator. Quick save again. Hey, <laughs> too late, you missed me. And you are done for. That guy's down, and this guy's down. Ow, come on. Seriously. Seriously, I feel like Honestly, every time it feels like I'm about to win in this game, it just goes as Mrs. Maisel so eloquently said. Tips up. Tip that. Yes, I have just found a new meme to use. Dang it. Alright, let's try this once again. Desert Eagle, bow! Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're coming- Ow! And that is why I love bullet time. It is so good. Quick save again, real quick. Um, I actually uh, was playing modded Fallout 4 not too long ago, and uh, one of the thing new in mods I installed was a bullet time mod that turns the VAT's targeting system into a bullet time mechanic. And thank goodness for quick saving. I don't have to do that again. There we go. 
Oh, come on! Seriously? Dude, you literally just threw a grenade onto yourself. What were you thinking there? Let's see how you like dual submachine guns. Boom. And now I got two sets of painkillers here. And now I'm actually back up to full health for once. Quick save again. So, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Honestly, every I, I do tend to ramble and just say whatever comes to mind whenever I do these. Great. Well, I'm not going in through that way. So that means... Well, in the immortal words of Deadpool, maximum effort. No, wait. <laughs> maximum effort. Ah, there we go. There we go. Painkillers, those are always helpful. Yeah. Yeah, they just barricaded the door. Crafty little bastards. Um. So, I, I, I remember now. So, I was talking about modded Fallout 4. And I had uh, changed the changed it so that the VATS mechanic was a uh, bullet time mechanic. Oh, here we go. What's happening here? Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. To get a full statement. Seriously? You're right not even now, close. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. Better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Brevera to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's not even close to catching us right now. But still, though, it probably wouldn't hurt to focus on putting up as much distance between us and them as uh, humanly possible right now. Ah. There we go. This is Any moment now, Payne's gonna bust through that door with murder in his eye. It's either him or us. I, for one, am going to pump the SOB so full of lead, they'll need a forklift to carry the coffin to the grave. Wow. That's very specific, but here we go. Oh. Boosh! I caught you off guard, dude, didn't I? Quick save. Bullet time round the corner. Oh, come on. Always remember to quick save and pack as many painkillers as you can. And get away from grenades, too. Yeah, that's helpful advice. Just stay away from grenades. And pack plenty of painkillers. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's handy. Not going that way for now. I think I'll try this way. Quick save again. Seriously? What the hell is even that? <laughs> and these guys are really grenade happy, aren't they? Let's, uh, use the shotgun for a minute. Alright, there you are, Gogniti. Just face it, Gug Needy. Yeah, I don't think you will. Reload. Oh, come on. Okay. Here we go again. Boosh, 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 boosh. 
Boosh. Reload, reload, reload. Come on, come on. I, last thing I need right now is to get killed. But I'm so close to getting Vinny Gogniti. Come on. Come on, okay. This is it. Boom! Ha ha ha. And there we go. Take that, Gagnini, take that. Take it, take it, take it. Come on, come on. Just give up already. Come on. Boom! Gagnini ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Okay. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Mm -hmm. Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. Yep. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a whole minute to freaking jail, just don't hurt me. What a little wuss. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. Mm. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence. And Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Okay. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going straight into the belly of the, the beast now. This dark message is a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Alright, let's, uh... Let me just, uh... Quick save real quick so I don't have to go all the way back before taking down Vinny Gogniti to... Do this. I am dangerously low on health right now. I gotta find some painkillers fast. Um... I got more ammo, that's nice, but uh, I need painkillers. <laughs> Never thought I'd actually unironically say that. Yeah, I need painkillers, there we go. Oh well. Get him. Oh. Boom! Took that guy down. Gotta love the boomstick. Okay. The age of murder and storm. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok. The end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice. When vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now we got some painkillers. That's nice. Okay, more ammo. Let's uh, make sure we're all geared up and ready to go. You know, I'm surprised that no one's in no one in there's heard me by now. Take that guy down. Oh! What manner of thing is happening out here? Say hello to my little friend! Okay, let's better quick save real quick so I don't have to, uh... Okay, so, uh... Looks like we got a bit of a fire going. Someone's got Molotovs. Um... Where is that last guy? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on! 
Ah, here we are. That's those two guys down. Quick save again. Weaponized quick saving is always the best way to go when you're in doubt. <laughs> Just don't even think about it. Just quick save, quick save, quick save, you know? Why does the music just randomly cut out when I just turn away from it? You know, it reminds me of this weird glitch that was in a lot of, like, mid to late 2000s first-person shooters where just, like, where character dialogue would be louder when you are facing away from it than it would be when you are facing towards it. You know, like... The occult had been piled on the table. Okay, that's ominous. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and Dei Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. Mm. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Yeah. Out of this house! Out of this house! Spirits be gone from this house. Okay. Quick save again. Through here. Nice try, dude. Rolling around is my thing. Uh, no, I did not mean to hit that button there. Coming up. Oh! Yeah, I am in rough shape right now. Go. Uh, quick save regularly. Pyrotechnics there. Um. And thankfully, I got some painkillers. Quick save again. Through here, I think. Up this way. I wouldn't say anything to his face. <laughs> and that's why you quick save, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I think I'm gonna use the Desert Eagle for a minute here. Come up this way. Quick save again. And suck it. That's why you quick save. I wouldn't say anything to That's one guy down, just one left. And that's him down. Bada bang, bada boom, bada bam. We got more money than we can count. Oh boy, oh boy, more guys incoming, come on. Single Ingram for now, I think. Oh. Sorry about that, an alarm on my phone went off and I'm back right here again. Oh, that guy got taken out by his own dude. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you gotta love friendly fire sometimes, you really gotta love it. Okay. Quick save. Oh. Come on. And... That's him down. Quick save again, and... Boosh! Back to the Desert Eagle. Um, Back this way, I think. Quick save again. Ow! Oh! Ow! Please tell me I did not just, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> I think I just screwed myself here. now back to your regularly scheduled program.
And I'm back, having just gotten out of the time loop there. Boosh, boosh. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, here we go, here we go. Probably gonna be wrapping up in a few minutes, because we've been going on for a little while now. But, uh... Let's, uh, keep going onward and upward. There we go. You know, I'm honestly kind of glad that they're doing a remake of this game, because, uh, it's a great game, genuinely. From a gameplay standpoint, I think it holds up. Um, this way. Okay. I'm in the upper rafters now. This is, uh, definitely, totally not perilous at all. Totally. Definitely not. I mean, there's no way I'm definitely, I'm gonna fall to my death if I slip here. Totally not. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Die, heathen, die! Die, heathens! Die, you godless heathens! Yeah, I am calling them heathens, because, <laughs> let's be honest, like, uh, it, it's just kind of funny, to be honest. Okay. And... Dual Berettas! You're coming at a guy with two Berettas trained on you. Thinking you got the drop on me? I don't think so. Boom! Oh, painkillers. Yes, yes, yes. Please, 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 please. Uh, take this guy out. Take this guy out. Fill myself back up to full health. Take all their guns and ammo. Honestly, kind of got these guys in a choke point, if point, truth be told. Um, more ammo. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna... Sometimes they'll put, like, painkillers and ammo into these boxes here. And there's another one. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you can make a sound if you walk over the guitar. That's actually great. For a game from 2001, there's a lot of interactivity. Stage control. Cursors of the Slain, huh? Oh! Wonder if that... Uh... Yeah. Gotta love the Finns, they know they're heavy metal. <laughs> Ammo. Yeah. Come up this way. Did he just fall to his death? What? What the fuck? Okay, let's see. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Save. And there we go. And this guy, yeah, he fell to his death. Talk about karma, huh? And the business. We call this foreshadowing. Come up this way. Okay. Well, no time like the present. YOLO! There we go. <laughs> and here we are. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. Oh boy. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. 
Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. Wow. The papers in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Let's take a look here, then. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Mm -hmm. Lupino's notes covered the table. All right. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. Wow. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Yep. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man. Damn, this guy is crazy. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's safe to say that, yeah, Jack Lupino is absolutely out of his damn gourd. Um, and I think that's good a spot as any to end today's video. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification icon so you never miss an upload. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!